Right, today we're gonna to do a classic Middle Eastern dish, chicken shawarma, uh, really popular in the Middle East. Uh, can be done with uh, various meats, but uh, this is all gonna be about uh, chicken today. Okay, so let's prepare the marinade. Um, first off, we want 250 ml of virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of ground cumin, a tablespoon of ground coriander, a tablespoon of um, cardamom seeds ground, a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and a tablespoon of cracked black pepper. Okay, I'll give this a good mix up. What we're going to do now is we're going to add chicken thighs, skin, skinned and bone chicken thighs. Okay, so that's nicely uh, buried into the uh, the marinade, and I'll cover that with the uh, cling film, and that can go in the fridge. Um, 24 hours is ideal. Right, so these have been marinating for 24 hours. Beautiful chicken thighs. It smells amazing. Let me show you now how to uh, get these onto the rotisserie on the Whistler grill. First things first, let's remove the. Um, warming shelf. It's important to get um, these lined up to the back burner so it's obviously cooking evenly and a little tip for you here is um, what I've done is, I don't know if you can see that, but I've actually put a little hacksaw blade mark there so I know where to lock that on. I've done the same the other side as well so you know when the uh, the prongs are on that's uh, well centered to the back burner. Right, so let's get the rotisserie off of there. Hey now this is going to be the fun bit. What we need to do now is um, get these chicken thighs down there onto the prongs uh, without making a mess. Onto the prong, down the skewer, onto one of the spikes that side and the opposite spike there. That's actually sat really nice. Just make sure they go all the way to the bottom. What we're going to do is going to build this now with all the other thighs. Right, so that's all the chicken, it's looking good. We'll get the, uh, the next set of prongs on there and ease them down. Pack it down as tight as you can and then lock that on. I'm gonna check the internal temperature of the chicken with a meter probe. I'm gonna leave this in for the duration of the cook. The cook should be around about 30, 35 minutes, um, but we'll keep an eye on that. And I'm looking for an internal temperature of the chicken of 75 degrees. Bring this beauty over to the grill, slot that into the, the motor. And this on there, so that's nicely centred, which is good. What I'm going to do for the cook here is turn the outer burners on and just have them on low. And I can fire up the back burner. Alright, let's put this one to bed for half an hour and see how we're getting on. Okay, let's have a look at this. So while this is um, cooking, it's been on about five minutes now, I'm gonna add a, a little bit of spice rub. The spice is pretty much the same as what was in the marinade. What this will do is give you a really nice crust at the end as well. Okay, so we're gonna make some flatbreads to go with the uh, chicken shawarma. Um, for this, this is probably the most simplest recipe uh, I've come across, we'll give it a go. Um, 300 uh, grams of plain flour. Um, you don't have to sift the flour. What I've done here, I've melted 50 grams of salted butter into 185 milliliters of milk. You can melt that in the microwave, but make sure it's all mixed well, that can go in the flour. You can use unsalted butter, of course, um, and if you do, just add a little bit more salt. I've got some spare flour here for when I'm uh, bringing this to a door. So mix this nicely together. Let's have that on the board. Come away, Fred, it's not for you, that. You don't eat bread dough. <laughs> All right, so I've kneaded this for about four or five minutes. You need a nice, smooth, finish like that. We're going to wrap this in cling film and just sit in cling film, let it rest for about 30 minutes and then we'll cut that up and roll that out ready for the um, flatbreads. There we go.
Okay, so we've got the dough, it's been resting for uh, 30 minutes or so now. Um, let's get some um, flatbreads made, ready for the shawarma. To flour on the surface here and stick. We just start them off this way, roll them out there. I've got a bee between my legs. <laughs> a bit worrying. Right, let's check on the shawarma. If only you could smell. Um, it's amazing. So what we're going to do is um, put the flatbread onto this plate here. Give it a minute, um, minute and a half on each side. Just turn that over. Okay, let's get some of this um, sliced up. See how we go on, get the uh, gnarly bits off, which are the delicious elements to this. Slice nicely. Turn that round. Stop it there. Okay, let's get this on here ready. Let's take over to the wraps. Okay, here we are with the ingredients um, to wrap these up. So let's get your wrap on there. This is um, Greek yogurt, cucumber and, and cumin mix. The shawarma on top of that. Shredded lettuce, a tomato, a few onions, a bit of mint. And top that with a bit more of the Greek yogurt. Ooh, it's not broken. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Ha, ha, ha.